Hey everybody, Christian Gress here. So this is turning into kind of a video series on my M16 A4 clone project that I started working on. And one of the pieces to the puzzle is gonna be a specific type of backup site for that setup. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so I recently picked up this backup site from Brownells. This is the MaTeX backup site system. Uh, this is a rear backup site only. You know, since I'm doing kind of a M16 A4 clone project, there's a couple different backup sites that I've seen over the years of that particular setup used in our military. And this is one of the most common backup sites that I have seen. There's also the Knights Armament backup site, but that thing is about three times the cost of this one and they're a little bit hard to track down. This one here was readily available over at Brownells. Went over there and picked that up. If you're looking for stuff like this and other items for your firearm projects, definitely check them out. Head over to my website and uh, use my affiliate link. Channel definitely gets a kickback from that small percentage and it's much appreciated. All right, so let's go ahead and take it out of the package and take a look at what this thing is. I'll, I'll point out some of the features and then uh, we'll close out the video. All right, so here's the backup site. It does have a windage adjustment here on the right. It does have an elevation adjustment. It's well marked for, for meters, so it, it's uh, adjustable between two and 600 meters. And uh, it does attach to your Pictani rail on top of the upper receiver, utilizing a, uh, a screw clamp in method here. First impressions, so this is, I have not used one of these sites in the past. Uh, there's quite a few other sites I've used that I, that I really like, but since I'm going for kind of the clone look, I wanted to put something on there that was kind of correct for the particular rifle. First impressions, it does look pretty robust. It is a little bit of a kind of a chunky backup site, but that's perfectly fine. I mean, it's meant to be used in the military and uh, should be kind of robust. As far as the windage clicks, they're very similar to a removable carry handle or an A2 carry handle rear sight as far as the windage is concerned. As far as the uh, deployment, you just kind of flip that thing up it only has one size peep sight. Again, this is meant for a backup sight. As far as the elevation, you have this graduated lever here with some detents. It's very positive. Uh, seems like it kind of jumps a little quick. So, but overall, I think for the intended purpose of a backup sight, this thing is pretty cool looking, like I said, for an M16 A4 clone. This is exactly what I was looking for. I guess they've done, uh, according to Motex, uh, kind of right up here, rigorous testing at Fort Benning and Aberdeen Proving Grounds has led this to be adopted by US military. And it's a standard issue for M4 carbines as well as M16 flat tops, which is kind of what I'm going after. If any of y'all have had any firsthand experience with this particular site, the other one I was considering was the Knight's Armament version, but that thing's so dang expensive and hard to find. You know, I know some of y'all have uh, used this particular setup or uh, M4 maybe with uh, different types of backup sites. So if you have, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. But yeah, much appreciated for taking a look at this thing. And um, you know, I am well on my way with the M16A4 clone project. All right, I appreciate y'all watching today's video on the MaTeX backup site for my M16 A4 clone project that I've been working on. Any questions or comments, please put those down below. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Y'all take it easy.